I never really wanted to get my driver's license. Most kids were super excited to start driving so they could go to the mall without their parents or whatever, but I was what my mom calls weird. I never even asked to start driver's ed. My mom just enrolled me one day. Thanks, mom. Driver's ed was really early in the morning, before school even started. Zero hour. And I couldn't even be a little late or I'd fail. Which I guess makes sense, because you don't want people on the road who missed stop sign day. But I didn't ask to be there, and waking up at 6 is definitely my least favorite thing. Besides, I didn't even care about driving. What? You couldn't wait a year? Mom? One time, a cop came in and gave us a talk about how cars are two-ton death machines. He ended the speech by asking what the most dangerous thing on his belt was. And I answered, Your gun. But the cop looked at us knowingly, held up his keys, and said, These are the most dangerous thing on my belt. <laughs> Which, no. I'm pretty sure keys are not more dangerous than a gun. Not unless you're bad at aiming, or very creative. Class basically consisted of just learning traffic laws, which seemed okay until my first driving practice when I got in the car and realized they never actually told me how to, you know, drive. I knew one pedal makes the car go, and nothing else. I was horribly unprepared. And to make it worse, I'd been paired up with the coolest kids in the class, so they got to sit in the back seat and judge me. It seems pretty irresponsible to put someone behind the wheel of a two-ton death machine without actually telling them how to use it. That's like if you showed up to math class on the first day of school, and if you can't find the area under a curve, you die. After I circled the parking lot once, the instructor told me to get on the road, which seemed a little soon. I don't even remember how I stopped, dude. But I left the parking lot and came to my first intersection. The light was red, and I stopped. So far, so good. When the light turned green, I started moving again. A little slowly, but whatever. I was driving! A little ways down the road, I hit my second intersection, but stopped flawlessly. This was only my first time, and I was nailing it. The instructor leaned over, and I'll never forget what he said. He said, usually... You go at green lights. Now you're not gonna believe this, but he was right. At the time, I thought my driving instructor was so cool. When we'd meet for driving practice, he'd be like, Do you guys want to drive to Burger King? And all of us would get real excited, like, yeah, You can do that? And when we were driving, he'd be like, Hey, let's stop at that gas station. <laughs> we don't need gas, I just want a Red Bull. I actually can't remember a time I saw him without an energy drink. He was always very... awake. A little while after I passed the class, it was finally time for me to take the test for my driver's license. Which I still didn't care about, but someone made me schedule it. And okay, I think every state is different, but the way Idaho does road tests is real shady. The DMV gives you a list of phone numbers to pick from, and you just call some dude who tells you where to meet him. On the day of the appointment, my mom and I sat in a Winco parking lot until someone knocked on the window like some kind of driver's license drug dealer. He climbed in the car and didn't say anything for a bit, so I wasn't totally convinced he was the right guy, but he pulled out a clipboard, and that's how I knew he wasn't a threat. The test started and we drove around for a bit, changed lanes, went over a bridge, and I didn't stop at even one green light. When it was over, we went back to the parking lot and I sat there quietly just waiting to hear if I passed. I mean, I didn't care, you know, I just didn't want to have to do it all over again. That's all. After a couple minutes of silence, he goes, Better than the average bear. Whew. Wait, bears can't drive. When my sister got her license, she spent months saving up and looking through classified ads trying to find a car, but that seemed like a lot of work, so I just didn't. My neighbor had a car that he was selling, and he gave me a really good deal. I didn't have to work at all. Ha! Take that, Whitney. I actually have a lot of stories about my first car, so I think it deserves its own video. Yep, I'm doing it. Part two, everybody.